Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're differentiating the function y is equal to the third root of x times 2 plus x. So this can be easier for us if we distribute this and get two separate terms. That'll give us y is equal to 2 times the cube root of x plus x times the cube root of x. We have to recognize here is this is two power functions. I'm going to get that into the power function form. So this is 2 and the cube root of x Think of it the general rule for the yth root of x. This can be x to the 1 over y. So this is x to the 1 over y. Here is 3, 1 over 3. 2 times x to the 1 over 3 plus, and this is going to be a little bit more complicated, but we can get it into the same form as this. We have x cubed, which should not be, or no, it's x. I was going to say x cubed shouldn't be here, but this is x times the cube root of x. And this is x to the 1 times the cube root of x, we just found is x to the 1 third. When you're multiplying these two, you can add their exponents and turn it into one form, which is 1 plus 1 third. 1 plus 1 third is x to the 1, which is 3 thirds, plus 1 third, just to get the common denominator there, is x to the 4 thirds. So this is x to the 4 thirds. Now we can see how this is two power functions. So y prime, our derivative, is going to be 2. You don't mess with the coefficient to accept to multiply it by our old exponent and then subtract one from the new exponent. Bring the exponent down, subtract by one plus. Coefficient is basically just one. Bring the exponent down, subtract by one. And now this is something we can simplify. Two times one third is two thirds times x to the one third minus one is one third minus three thirds is negative two thirds. Two thirds x to the negative two thirds plus four thirds x to the four thirds minus one is four thirds minus three thirds is one third x to the one third. And this is gonna be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.